welcome back to KG Gaming, guys. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some hunting, as usual. But then at the end, I'm going to announce the 100K gaming chair giveaway winner. And we're also going to FaceTime him and pick it out live for you guys to see. Now bring it in close here for a minute, okay? I know what you guys are going to say. Kendall, did you already buy a new gaming chair? Absolutely not, okay? This is one of the podcast chairs. And I'm sitting in it because I broke the rocking chair. It physically does not hold a person anymore. I broke it, okay? I ate too many donuts. But anyways, let's jump right into the game and let's kill a few animals. <laughs> what reserve do we pick? I don't know, guys. Let's figure it out, though. We never go here. We never go here. Let's go here and let's try to kill like a mule deer or something. It'll be worth it, I promise. And I know what you're asking. Hey, G, what kind of gear are you using in today's video? And that's actually a really good question, because I don't know, but I'm probably just going to use whatever I had from last episode. So let's just go through it. Binos, check, are awesome. What is this? I, I guess this is the infield. I don't know. I mean, that's a great gun. I'm not mad about it one bit. Next, we have a rattling call. Okay. And then a bugle call. And then another call. And is that the only gun I brought? Did I really only bring one gun? Oh, I guess so. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. One shot, one kill. That's all we do here. <sighs> It's moments like these that I realize I know nothing about this map and I have no idea where to start. I'm just gonna walk around aimlessly and whenever I find an animal, whenever that may be, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, I think I just found an animal. It's a mule deer. It's like, oh, it's somehow exactly what I was talking about. I can't tell if he's a big one or not, but I mean, he looks big to me. I wonder where he went. Have I already lost him? Dang, I'm not good at this. Oh no, no, he already knows I'm here. Dang, I should have got lower and slower. It's right, boys. As soon as you see him, bust him. Bust him one time. No mercy. If it's a headshot, it is what it is. That's not good, dude. I'm not good at this map. Why is this game so hard? I can't believe it didn't work. Is that a deer? No, it's a shadow. Dude, this map is hard. I ain't hunting here. I'm leaving. We have successfully switched to Silver Ridge Peaks, and would you look here, what is already sitting here waiting for me? A pretty decent sized mule deer, okay? And then, y'all didn't get to see it, but there was a, oh, no, you do. It's a black bear, and it's actually black! I, I, I don't know why, but every single black bear in this game seems purple, and I don't like it at all, but that is an actual jet black black bear now he's calm but he's still booking it so i don't know what that's about but we're definitely going to pursue him but before we do that let's go ahead and pursue old son the mew deer now he is facing away from me which isn't the best shot opportunity but at the same time i've never really been known to take good shots unless it ran away did it run away oh no there he is gut shot baby gut 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 shot <laughs> Hey man, if you can't get a good shot, just get a lot of shots. That's what Mammy always said. And the bear shouldn't be too messed up by that. So let's just not waste any time. Let's get over there, get that dang mew deer, cut it up a little bit, let the smell get floating down, you know? I sound like one Braden Price's dirt box. Let's get the bear call ready. We're about to need it. I think we can definitely stop running, go ahead and reload just in case things go in the direction we don't want them to go, okay? Black bear, I've been mauled before, both in the game and in real life. That's why I do not have my right arm. Hold up, is that a bear? No, it's a rock. Never mind. Dude, I have to kill this bear. I have to get him. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, did he just disappear? I'm gonna start walking a lot slower now. Just in case he's coming my way or something like that. Dude, look at all those pronghorns. Oh, there's a dead deer. Oh, never mind. That's the one I shot. Okay, that makes sense. Now I just gotta locate that black bear to make sure he's not like behind me or something like that. That'd be that'd be pretty scary. All right, guys. Well, I, I'll catch you guys in like 30 minutes whenever I finally get over there to that deer. Put 30 minutes later to this sound effect. <laughs> Oh, heck yeah, baby. What a stinking animal. What an animal. This guy's been hitting the gym. Gosh, hit him in the leg. Eh, it is what it is. Now let's find that bear. I got my bear call with me right here, and I'm not afraid to use it. I got his tracks, though, right here. We'll just slowly follow him until eventually we'll find him.
Dude, something is right on top of me. I better take it while I got it. All right, where's the other one? There was another one. There was more than just one footsteps. I know there was. Oh, there it goes, there it goes! That's him! No! That's him, that's him! That's the bear we've been after. That's him, that's him, that's him. Oh my gosh. Shot! I think I made the shot. I think I made a good shot. I think I made a good shot. I think I made a good shot. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness, dude. I think it hit the stinking. Wait, 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 wait. Cough. Wrong end, wrong end, sorry. It sounds like someone just dropped a baby on a tip. Next thing I know, footsteps everywhere. I got a big blonde bear over here. Black bears, listen, I'm sorry, they're not that color, dude. That is a, no way, how? That's not even the one I was hunting, but it's massive. I did, that wasn't even the one I was after. It's a level six, that was almost a gold. I barely hit its neck. I, I'll be honest, guys. Real talk, I didn't even know what I was shooting at. Dude, let's think and go. I'll accept that. Now, let's just hope that even if I just a little bit hit that bear, that I can track him from there. Hopefully, I killed him though. I know for a fact there's a good chance I hit him. All right, that's a bison. Don't need none of that. Yeah, he's running. I, I think this is the bear print. This is the one we're looking for. Oh, Blood. We got blood. We got stinking blood. This is the one. This is the one that killed my aunt. This is the one that attacked my refrigerator. All I'm saying, get your irons out because objects in the forest are closer than they appear. There he is! Let's go! Dude, he, he was running and then all of a sudden he couldn't go any further. He just stinking dropped. Let, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my, that thing is massive. Oh, I didn't get anything out of that bear. Not even a silver, but I got a gut shot. Some people may say that, you know, gut shots aren't good. You you shouldn't shoot animals in the guts. But all I have to say is, I have the bear. In real life, do I recommend shooting animals in the guts? No. Do I do it anyways? Sometimes. Accidentally. But it happens. And it, it, it kills them. Or at least in the game it does. That's the bear I've been after. Look at those claws. That's the leg of a killer. Let's go ahead, FaceTime the winner, and let's pick a gaming chair. I'm just glad we got justice for auntie. All right, guys, I got my Amazon pulled up. I'm FaceTiming the winner right now. The winner is Maxton Contrell. I'm just going to FaceTime him, get him on here, and we're going to pick out a gaming chair together. Yo. Hey, what's going on, man? How's good. it going? I am screen recording. You good with that? Yeah, that's fine. All right, bet. So, um, you won the giveaway. That's awesome. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we're going to pick us out a gaming chair. Let's see. How do I do this? Here we go. All right, got Amazon pulled up. I guess we can have a good start by typing in gaming chair and see how that goes. Yeah, that might be a good start. What kind of, I don't know, what are we looking for here? What kind do you want? Because we're both going to get the same one. Honestly, I don't know a whole bunch about gaming chairs, but um, I don't know what colors you like. I don't know. I like any color. What do you like? Uh, I think red's cool. I think blue's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think any color's cool. Yeah, what, me too. What, what's important to us in a gaming chair? The main thing for me is it just needs to look cool. It does need to look cool. It probably has to be a little bit comfy. I mean, you don't be sitting. Well, that is true. Don't be sitting on a rock. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do reviews at least four stars and up. We don't need none of that three star stuff. The first one's for 69, but I think we can do a little bit, you know, maybe flashier than that. I don't know, dude. I don't know about gaming chairs. <laughs> I don't either. I've been sitting in a rocking chair. Yeah, I just sit in like one of them like fold out black chairs. That's what I use. Yeah. So. Well, we're about to get we're about to get a solid little upgrade right here. Oh, that one looks like it's got like a leg rest. Oh, That's this one? <laughs> Let's check it out. That looks crazy. Dude, look at that. You can sleep in it or something. Dude, you can go to bed in that thing. Go camping. Oh, here they are com straight up bashing their competitors over here, telling them how bad they are. All right, let's see. What we got on this one? We got decent. We got good colors. We we have a few options for colors. We got that. Ooh, ooh. We got that blue. We got that red. Dude, here's, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that they got two different chairs. Do you see how it's got that one? How it's like kind of got a waist? If that makes any sense yeah. at all. Then that one don't have a waist, you know what I mean? It's just big. It's weighted for 300 pounds. Are you more than 300 pounds? Uh, just a little bit over. No, I'm it's a massage chair. Massage? Dude, it heats up and stuff. What do you have to do, like plug it in or something? I don't know. Am I reading this right? A tractable footrest. We got soft memory foam cushion. 
Adjustable armrest. That's pretty important. Not even kidding. That's pretty important. 280 pounds. Dude, it just said 300. What's the deal? And then massage memory foam lumbar support. I think we're definitely going to keep that in mind. Let's see if we can find one that's like, I don't know, got an air conditioner or something in it. I don't know. I don't know nothing about gaming chairs. I don't know what makes one better than the other. Well, that one's pink. That's crazy. I like, I like pink. I'm down with that. Let's see. Has it got lumbar support though? I don't know. Maybe. Wonder is that a thing like for comfort or something? Cause here's the thing. I'm sitting in a chair right now that's kind of a gaming chair. I'll try to show it to you. It's kind of a gaming chair, but it's really not. And it's just yeah. here for like one day. It's not the most comfortable. So comfortable is definitely big time. I wish there was a thing on here that I could just click for five star comfortability. That one was showing lumbar support and that sounds really important. It does. Is it this one? I think it is this one, isn't it? It's this one yeah. by Star Space. Let's see. Let's see what it says about its competitors. This one has a retractable footrest. I don't know about you, but that sounds cool. This one has a massage thing, a back angle, adjustment armrest, thicker flat seat cushion. I don't guess that's good. I don't know. You don't get one of these. I think they're pretty cool. And I guess if we do want to get one of these, do you want the one with the waist or without? Either way, I mean, honestly, whichever one's cheaper, I'm, I don't I don't want to run you up or anything. They're, either way, it's cool. Oh, here's something important. Okay, okay. So the expensiver one ha maybe has better support, but it doesn't go back as far, and it doesn't have adjustable armrest. I think the armrest is actually really important. Yeah, yeah. Because I, need, I need my arms to be well rested yeah i got long monkey arms so dude i do too how tall are you i'm about six two six three dang yeah you do you need that 32.3 inch backrest <laughs> and you uh, definitely need that adjustable armrest you don't get this one it looks good to me if it's fine with you that's fine with me do you want any specific color we got black sure. blue gray and white and red what state are you from i'm from Oh, okay. Well, then we're from the same state. Yeah, hey, UK blue right there. That's what I. That's exactly what I was thinking. I, I like UK blue. You can never go wrong with it. You really can't. Not in Kentucky. I think I'm gonna get gray. What, what were the colors again? Oh, that one's straight black with a red outline. But then there's also blue, white, and red. If you want to get matching gray, gray ones, that's cool. Gray gang, or you can get blue. I don't care. Which one you want to do? Um, the gray one looks clean. It does look clean. It, if it like got stuff spilled on it, it probably wouldn't get too dirty. So you want to do matching, gray, matching yeah, gray lumbar gray. supported gaming chairs? Yeah. Ah, right, let's do it. 